Well, here we go. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Oh my gosh, we haven't gone live in so long. And wow, this lighting's bad. Yep. And so <laughs> this, oh what God. you're seeing behind you is not the background on friendship. Um, Wait a minute. Is there any way you can take that blue light off? Look, it's no. in my glasses. It's very weird. No, it's just the way it is. All right, we'll have to deal with it. We have our, well, either way, our webcam gives off this ominous blue light, and it's, well, I haven't figured out how to turn off. Julian says, I haven't caught one of your lives in a very long time. That's because we haven't done a live in a very long time, right? We have, <laughs> the last live we did was in the Panama Canal, and then the last, and I call that sort of a pseudo live because I was just more just showing what we're doing. Right, we couldn't really talk with you guys. So. And then the last live before that was like a year ago today, and we were sitting in San Blas, in, in Panama. And well, we're not in San Blas today. As you can see from, from the thumbnail that we shot, we are not even on the continent. I'm <laughs> sorry. Is sitting I'm on. a little out of touch. I mean, out of practice and I'm hot. I'm taking off my socks. I'm getting comfortable. So as this, as this video goes on, there'll be more things revealed. Yes. Beyond so <laughs> at just so, the socks aren't working for her. So we actually have, I'm going to get comfortable. I promise here. You're not going to just be looking at my nostril. We have, um, I'm dying of heat. You're not hot in that? No. Holy crap. So far, I'm okay. Okay, so we have 10 big reveals that I wrote down on my phone, just so we don't forget any of them. So much to share with you guys, and we are- They're not all big reveals. We had to come up with maybe like one small one to call it 10. Yeah. But, but... <laughs> okay, reveal number one. Largo and I have been super sick since Wednesday. So now we're so, going out of order? Well, I guess, okay, this is not a reveal. This is like a, this is a, I'm just telling you guys that. I, <laughs> we, because, every, we have like 200 reveals by the time. Because I'm over. coughing a lot and I just sound horrendous and I'm going to probably have to blow my nose. I'm feeling better, but I just want to let you know since I'm going to be coughing the whole time. It's, you know, I apologize. Real but too, I'm thirsty. And uh, yeah. <laughs> are you making fun of me? Um, Mary said, are you in Paris? I saw the Eiffel Tower. Yes. Yes. So, so that is reveal number reveal one. Reveal number one is where are we? So you want to talk about that? We are in Paris. We've, we've had... Bonjour. We've, Bonsoir. Had, we've had a lot that has gone on. And so we're going to sort of do this in order. And since to get to 10, we had to sort of fragment this thing out. So normally we just say where we are, where we've been. Da, da, da. But first reveal is, yes, we are here in Paris. We are in Paris. And we have been in Paris since the end of October. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, Instagram, we're, we're very current on there. It's the only platform. Well, there's another platform that we'll mention a bit that we're, we're really current on. Um, there's a lot of reasons why we're here and we'll kind of, that'll kind of all unfold as we chat with you guys. Um, but we, it's been really nice being here. It has felt like a nice warm blanket. Um, Paris is where we started our full-time travel journey. We were here for a summer back in 2013. And when we left here after a summer, we said, we want this travel lifestyle. How are we going to make it happen? So it's always felt like a really special place to us and comforting and um, we are in the, are we in the 17th or the 18th? We're I'm not in, really sure, right? We're in the 18th. We're in the 18th. Our address says the 18th. And it's lovely. And the people are fabulous and kind and, and overly giving. And, you know, some people don't like Paris. They say, oh, people are mean here. Um, in any touristy areas, you're often going to get that. Um, dealing with tourists, I'm sure all day isn't the easiest thing. We are in a neighborhoody area and it's fabulous. I mean, I, I cannot... I cannot say enough how wonderful it's been for us and how amazing everyone's been. Have you had um, to use though? Because what we're talking about basically is whether the Parisians have been good to us because our French is, is lacking. It's terrible. Um, and have you have you had to use <coughs> either French or English or any language? Well, so, yeah, when I communicate with people. Yeah, but how much communicating have we done? I mean, well, usually... we've done. I mean, we work. We work from home, right? So um, obviously, we're not communicating that much. But yes, yes, I have used some French, and I've used my English, and people. I try to use French, obviously, at first, but I'm not fluent. Um, and I just, I, I don't. People have just been so nice. Like I, I can't stress enough how kind people have been to us. And I don't know if it's in a point in our, like they can just tell we need kindness i don't know but it's it's been a really wonderful experience for well, us it's here. really interesting and we and we've lived here before too so go ahead no no because yeah this morning i went for a run and my favorite thing to do in the city is go for runs when the city is empty and on sunday morning <laughs> the city is a ghost town which is amazing and so as i would left there was it was like just as this the, the light was coming up and there was still a, 
I think it's a full moon or there's like a really big moon. I have no idea whether it's an official full moon or not, but through like the streetway and with these amazing architecture buildings that there, there was like the moon still like sitting right there and the, 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 the light was just creeping in and, and it looked so nice. And I stopped my run and I pulled up my phone and I started taking a photo and this other person took a photo of you there. no was sitting there as well because <laughs> you photo. look so nice and I, I didn't think to take the photo until i, I saw her <laughs> with, her, with her camera i was like okay I, I should take a photo too because i got fomo because i won't have this photo <laughs> and um and so i said wow this is amazing in english as if i thought like everyone spoke english and she just said you know yes it is <laughs> and i was like okay you know this is it you know i'm not trying to sort of ask for any help we're just trying to communicate you know, through just yeah. you know th this amazement and yeah, Paris is cool. a sexy city, guys. It is, it is just beautiful, stunning, sexy. I know people either love it or they hate it. I love it, absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, Mary says use Duolingo to learn some French. That can help. Excuse me. We have used Duolingo. Actually, a little um, side note: Duolingo was actually created um, in uh, at the school that Avalon goes to in one of the programs that she's in. So, and, and Julian, you said that the good parts of the eighteenth are wonderful. <coughs> I, I agree. Um, there, yeah. there are some touristy parts of the 18th. We're not there. So. Yeah, we're, we're, it's, it's, it's fabulous. I mean, I cannot yeah. say again. Okay, we can't only talk about Paris this whole time. So, um, yeah, I, I felt like I had something else to share with that. But now, oh, we have a different camera on. Are we supposed to be looking up here yes. or here? Well, oh, so I'm looking down. So okay. does it look like I'm looking down? We're looking at you. If we're okay. looking at ourselves, we're kind of vain. I'm okay, sorry. so we're going to look at you more. We've got a new camera on here. So, um, okay, that's reveal number one. Reveal number two is where is our baby? Not Avalon, not Largo, not Sentry. Although we can talk about that too. Yeah, Avalon University, Largo's here, Century's here with us. That's right. <laughs> Century wasn't supposed to be here with us, but she uh, she went ahead and, well, we, yeah. we kidnapped her and brought her back to Paris. Century actually was staying with my sister for six months while we were doing some really intense travel, which we'll get to in another reveal, land travel. And then we brought her back here to Paris with us since we were going to be here since October because we really missed her. So the baby I was talking about is the boat. Where Friendship. is Friendship? Friendship is sitting in Baja, California. Uh, she's been out of the water since June. And I know our vlogs are still of us in the water. Therefore, I apologize. Um, but basically, she's well, she's okay. sitting in Puerto Penasco in, 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 in Baja, California, which is which is basically where everyone on YouTube seems to take their, their words <laughs> out of the water. Uh, it is, she's it, one hour from the U.S. She, if she wants to go visit. She's now from the border. And, and we have... We, she's in good hands. We have someone taking care of her, watching over her, checking on the batteries. Yeah, sending else. us pictures of how she's doing. Um, she's holding up well. And we're going to, I think we have another reveal about her and everything, but um, she is still in our life. And the reason and, why, I guess, Puerto Manasco is such a, a coveted place is to leave your book, besides it's being really affordable, which I'm actually surprised it's that affordable. It's being, super affordable. Being that surprised. it's it's in, a, in an ideal location because the, the humidity <coughs> is, <coughs> you okay? I'm sorry. That's okay. You're right? Yeah. Okay. The humidity is really low and the proximity to the U.S. is really high. So I think it, honestly, I think it's worth more money than that, except for you don't get a lot of services, but that's okay. Yeah. Location, we don't, we, location, we don't need location. services right now. We just no. need a place to park our baby. So um, that's where the boat is. Reveal number three. Oh, this one's a biggie. Where have we been? Do you want to start or you want me to? Starting when? When's the time okay. I start? So... If you're current on the vlogs, we're still in Mexico. We even haven't even hit Puerto Pinasco. But let's pretend that you know we hit there, that the boat's on the hard. From that point, we're not ruin every single thing. But that being said, um, we had a great we had a great run through Baja California, and it was all, awesome. It's all coming. It's yeah, was. and that and that just let's touch on that for a minute. That sailing was really amazing. We saw some amazing things. Um, I wouldn't say it was like the best sailing we've done. Because we were in a hurry. What we, yeah, we were in a hurry. But what we saw was so amazing. And it was just such a beautiful time. And then Avalon was with us for a couple weeks. And, and it was just really, really special and wonderful. Um, I, I loved it. I, I didn't think, I had no desire to go to the Sea of Cortez. And I'm so glad that we went because it really, it really was very wonderful for us. And because we fast-tracked it a lot. It leaves us with a lot more to explore. <coughs> but so, the great thing is when you go up in the Sea of Cortez, you got to come back down. So. Right. So what was the, the other one you're talking about? What do you mean? The, the, the Okay, so where, where have we wait, been? Wait, where have we been? Okay. Okay, so June we left the boat. 
June, we left both. We should and tag we, team we, We've had like this whirlwind extravaganza tour, which has been, we call it just- I, I think Do we want to talk of, about why we left the boat? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me. There. I'll, I'll explain there. that one, okay. and then you can tell where we've been. I think people so, want to know this. Yeah, I think I think so. So it, it's, it's not just because every now and then you need a boat break, because every now and then you do need a boat break. I didn't a boat break. I didn't really. I guess one could call it a boat break. It didn't feel like I I needed a boat break. We need a boat break. So we obviously, you guys know, we have Avalon who's in university. And when we bought the boat, we had to learn how to sail. We had to get the boat up to speed. We still had to work full time. We still had to parent and everything else that went along with life. And our family time and adventure time, even though one would say, well, you have a lot of family time. You're all on the boat together. No one's going off to school or the office. It went down compared to what we were used to with land travel. And we were okay with that for a bit of time because we knew with every new adventure, there comes this learning curve and you have to kind of be all hands on until you've gotten, and then you get to kind of that level set point, And then you go back to the way that you were living. But this went on for quite some time. And so... I said to Will, I think that I didn't want to sell the boat, but I thought that we needed a boat break because we were not in line with our why, which is one a why we established in 2014 when we started full-time traveling and a why that's really we've been committed to ever since. I mean, we're, we're open to changing it if it needs changing, but we haven't had the desire to change it. And our why has been um, making memories over buying stuff. Um, spending more time as a family to create a strong bond and then having adventures and learning out in the world through an education standpoint. And we felt that, well, I felt, and when I brought it up to Will, he felt the same way that we were not meeting that on the boat. And it's not the boat's fault, but a boat takes a lot of time and money and we're committed to that and we love the boat, but we also still only have a couple years left with Largo and we know what happens because they do launch like Avalon did. And then you don't have that time with them. And I felt that we should be take a year and go focus on more education through land travel and more family bonding and less spending on stuff because the boat is a, is a stuff. Um, and just it's being, also a home. It is a home too. It's, so And being a family and, and, and everything we set out to do. And so... Um, that's kind of the reason I, why. I think I think we spent, I mean, what, when we spent, when you go onto a boat and then you do nothing but fix it up and prepare it to where you want it to be, and then you do nothing but stay on it and learn how to sail and then cross it, cross an ocean. And, you know, we didn't get, we, we didn't get a boat break at all yeah. for, for almost three years. Yeah. And so I think this was due, to be honest with you. It was so, due. It was due. And, and it's just not like, no matter how much we love any type of style of travel, we've RV'd for three years, we've done the boat, we've done hikes, all this stuff. I will never, ever love any style of travel enough to sacrifice time with our children because they're only with us for a certain amount of time, right? So we took a break. Um, we didn't sell the boat. We're not going to sell the boat. Um, we're we're going to go back and we'll talk about that in another There's reveal. too much love in the boat to actually sell it. There is. There is. And, and we talked with... Our, our mentors and very good friends, Jamie and Bihan, um, and you guys probably know them. Everyone knows them. Um, and we talked about, should we sell if we're going to be off it for a year? We thought a year at the time, maybe two. Should we sell? What should we do? And, um, you know, their their recommendation was if we're going to be off for two years to sell it and then come back. But we, and we, at the time, we thought it would only be a year. But neither one of us wanted to sell because we love the boat. We love our boat and we've put our heart and soul in it and we've made it how we want it and we know it and we don't want to do that again. Like we want to be sailing. We don't want to be rehabbing. We want to be on the water and right. doing it. So, okay. And as much as it's exciting to go ahead and buy, like look, buy a new boat Excuse and do me. rehab and everything else, we've done that. Uh, we like our, our, our boat. I mean, <laughs> we want to go places with the boat right. now. We don't want to be in the yard and, or on the marina and, and stuff like that. beyond that, that like, we, we were on friendship for longer than we've been anywhere. We were in Lemonade, our RV, going throughout Europe for... Three, almost three years. Almost three years, yeah. I would say. Two years and nine months, I think. Right. And then this and friendship so far, we've been on longest than anything else. So, yeah. um, you know, it's... It's not like, you know, oh, they've given up. We haven't given up. We just we just need a slight no, pause. We needed a pause. Right. Yeah. And I'm it's we'll talk more about it, but it's been wonderful. Um, okay, so where I say let's answer some questions and then we'll answer the reveal that we're on of where we've been. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. 
Um, tea tree oil can help with your nose colds and like other um, and like our grandmothers did. Uh, peel an onion and put it around you during the day and, and around you next to the night. So I can't do any type of oils at all. It bothers my allergies, Thank which you, is so weird. Thank you, Mary. But I will try the onion. I like that one. I hadn't heard of that before. Um, Julian says, many of us in France have the snifflies right now. It's we awful. have been, we have, our family has been so sick in December and January of this year. Like we've never been sick before. I blame it on being around people. Will's like, it's because we're around people. <laughs> I'm that's like, a, no, I think the everyone's why. sick because when you're on the boat, you're never around people, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Mary says six months on the boat and six months on land could be ideal to have variation in life. Um, absolutely. But unfortunately for us, that's definitely not in our budget. We're very fortunate where Puerto Panasco is because it's very inexpensive to leave the boat there. But most other places that we would leave the boat for six months, we couldn't afford to go land travel as well. You know? I, I say it depends. It depends. But it when depends. we when we talked about doing this, we talked about sailing to, um, excuse me, to French Polynesia and leaving the boat there. And it was just to, to leave it there. That was, was prohibitive. It was too expensive for us. Um, but we landed in a good spot. Um, Mary says, I, I really enjoyed your van vlogs, but also the boat vlogs. Thank you. Um, Ken King, life is too short to be frustrated or unhappy in any way you do you. Oh, that's super Thank sweet. Thank you. Um, Steve Billado, I'm coughing. I'm coughing all winter too. Oh my gosh. You have the coolest new move, by the way. Awesome. Congratulations. I love it. Um, and I love your painting a day that you're doing. All right. So where have we been? Okay. You, should we fast track that? I mean, we can't keep these, these, no, these guys all night and we've yeah. got a lot to share. We've got 10 reveals. Okay. okay. Do you want to do it? So we left the boat. Okay. We went to India and we had an amazing time. We set up for for our World Town and Voyages <coughs> India trip which just occurred last month. Yeah, we were we hosted well, so we were planning, we were scouting, planning whatever you want to do for our first India group trip. As soon as we left the boat, we went right to India for 3 weeks and then we like we'll said we just hosted that trip. Um we just got back 2 weeks ago and it's awesome, fabulous, amazing. And for those of you that don't know, we do we do host group trips for people that want to travel with us. And yeah. so um India was was it was a unique experience, but we're not there yet. Yeah. So, yeah, so. Uh, after India, we, we we hopped on a plane and we went to Vietnam. Yeah. We were in Vietnam for a month, and we we loved Vietnam. We loved Vietnam. We, we loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. We built a trip there, but that's something for another conversation. That's um, another. Either way, that's okay. another reveal. Okay. Um. Then we went to Cambodia. Yeah. And we got ourselves. Married again? Look, it looks like I was going to hold up my finger. I know. See this, guys? Wait, I still have mine on. So Will and I renewed our vows in a small fishing village in Cambodia, and that will be coming on a future vlog. That is so cool. Um, we, we had Buddhist monks come and marry Buddhist us. Buddhist monks married us, and, and part of the ceremony is they, they tie this around. You're supposed to leave it on your wrist until it falls off. And mine is still on. Will's fell off in like a day, or he ripped it off. I don't know which one. <laughs> Mine's still on here. And then to commemorate this, we got a little... A little tattoo right there, matching little tattoos. Just like that. Yeah. And so anyway, um, 2023 was a lot of um, self-improvement and working on mental wellness and, and, and our our inner voices and all this stuff. And, and we really felt like renewing our vows would commemorate all that. So it was really, <laughs> we're not going to make out in front this of you This is guys. our first, if you want to believe it, this is actually the first time we've kissed. <gasps> you kissed me. In like a week almost because she's been sick. Oh and, my gosh. I hope you don't get it. I know. Because this this the whole this whole week basically Largo and Jessica have been we're super sick super sick and she's <laughs> just getting over now and for some reason I had like this this Captain America shield going yeah he didn't get it me. which is so weird but and uh, and so I yeah that was nice yeah <laughs> I know but now I feel guilty all right so um so after Cambodia we went to Thailand and then in Thailand we didn't we were so we were working. Um, and, and traveling and all this stuff all summer. It was kind of hard to do it all, but Avalon came and joined us for part of the summer. And um, we, we suspect this might have been the last summer, all of us together, because she's talking internship next summer. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, <laughs> snifflies. Um, so we really made the most of it. We hit it hard. We worked hard and we played hard and everything. Come September, Avalon went back to school, Largo went back to school, and we landed in Thailand for a month in Thailand. And we didn't see too much in Thailand because we were really like exhausted and Largo was back in school and all that kind of stuff. But we had a wonderful time. And then after Thailand- Well, this was, this was the, we felt like the whole, the, the whole plan of being in Southeast Asia was our COVID that did not happen plan. Right. Or the plan right. that, that didn't happen because of COVID. Because when we, in 2020, <laughs> when we arrived in Japan at the beginning of COVID, 
we, we wound up staying there because clearly all the borders were closed. Um, and our plan was to see like 12 different countries in Asia and, and go and have this, this incredible Yeah, journey. stay there for a year. And, and so Cambodia, Vietnam, and India, and well, a bunch of other countries. And a bunch of other countries. But this little trip was the, the, the trip that should have been. Yeah, it should have been on fast tracking because we didn't yeah. stay for a year. Yeah. And instead, we during COVID, we went and bought the boat and learned to sail and all that stuff. Because at that point, we were land travelers and we were just like, yeah. well, what do all land travelers do? They hang out in Southeast Asia. They go to Asia. And yeah. they do adventures for almost no money. And live in um, tuk-tuks and all that stuff. And and it was, yeah, we had we had a ball. Yeah. I mean, everything worked out well. And I think it's one, everything worked out the way it should, I guess, is how I feel about it. So, um, so then after Thailand, we flew... Let me know if I'm missing something. No. We flew to Spain and we hosted our first um, Camino hiking group trip, which was awesome as well. And then we had a couple day break and then we hosted our first Barcelona group trip, which was awesome as well. And then after that, we made our way to Paris and we've been here um, since then. So we did end of November and December here in Paris. And then, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, can you guys see the cat over there? <laughs> She's like, let me out, let me out, sentry. <laughs> um, she really is here. She's like, well, I'm a boat cat. Why am I stuck inside? Why can't I go out and sit on the deck? Anyway, um, so once we got here, um, my parents came to visit us and we had several other friends that popped in and out. Paris is a great location for people with layovers and whatnot. We got, to, we had a lot of social, um, we got to hang out with our friends, Ryan and Sophie, if you know them from Ryan and Sophie or Sophie and Ryan say, I don't know which whose name it's comes Ryan first. Um, they're lovely. If you don't know them, check them out online. And then we had some other sailing friends. Our friends visited us, um, right around Christmas. And then we went, our Avalon arrived and then we went to Strasbourg. For Christmas and hang out with some other friends. And then right after that, we flew to India to run our group trip. Um, that was fast. And I think you're and pretty, now, and now we're are they caught here. up now? I think that you're caught up, right? And so all that being said, <laughs> we have all that. So that's what's been happening. And we've filmed everything. We haven't all recorded. We haven't filmed a ton in so Paris. Is that, is that a reveal? Is that that was number three reveal, I think. Okay. Where have we been? Okay. So we haven't filmed. So we, we all that stuff has been vlogged um, and it's coming down the line. Um, we're just going slow. So, OK, so Blue Clue has some questions. Has Largo been able to keep up with his flying studies? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Largo is, for those of you who don't know, he's in Embry-Riddle online dual enrollment high, high school college program. And he's been doing his studies while we've been traveling. Um, I'm loving it and everything's wonderful. Are you, are you loving it, Largo? Oh, he's he has getting, headphones he has on. Headphones. He can't hear us. But he's doing his homework right now because Sunday nights are the deadline. Um, is Paris really as dirty and rude as people talk about? No. 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 Not at all. In, in, it's not dirty. I don't think it's dirty. But the Parisians don't pick up their dog poops. You have to watch where you walk in. And that's less of um, a thing now. Yeah. I don't I don't find it dirty, but it could be relative because we've traveled all over the world and been to places that are far worse um, I, than I, here. I, I, Paris is... Well, it's it's kind of like tourist Disneyland more than yeah. anything else. Um, it, it's is it dirty? No, no, no. I Do think people, people smell. No, um, are people rude in touristy areas? People can be rude, but that's everywhere in in the world. Like, I mean, I think the, to me, the rudest place on earth is uh, Disney in Florida. I've never met so many mean. People. Don't be. This is this is. It's not the people. Is, it's not the people that. Speaking. It's not the people at work there. Every Don't time I there. get there, someone's pushing. A parent we, is pushing and cutting a line. It's and not just, Disney's so, fault. <laughs> it's not. And so it was Disney's I fault. I like Disney. I, it's not Disney's fault. So um, yeah, I don't find people rude at all. Like I really, really love it. And fun. we've been met with such kindness here. Um, so that so that's the reveal of catching you guys up. And if you guys have any questions, like put them, put them, put them over here. Just bag on Disney. Well, people, Why? listen, it's not, I didn't bag on Disney. I bagged on the people going to Disney that push oh, and boy. cut, right? When an adult cuts a child in a line at Disney, that's pretty messed up, right? People are, listen, we, we, we've learned that, and we, we have friends of ours who, who've gone through like the 12 step program in, in Alcoholics and, others, <laughs> and they tell us about the reaction to <clears throat> that why people sometimes go back to their addiction and it's halt, which is either hungry, angry, <clears throat> loneliness or tired. Are you saying I'm there right now? No, but everyone in Disney is pretty much either hungry right. not, or tired. Not the people working there, the people working there. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> um, and so I don't blame them for being angry there. Uh, let's see, Juliet says, uh, remind me, what was the route of that Camino? Um, I got to blow my nose the, for a second. The Hold Camino on. that we did with, with, our, with our group trip, we went from Sadia, um, which is uh, about 114 kilometers from Santiago de Compostela. 
and to Santiago. To Santiago, yeah. yeah. It was really wonderful. We're going to be launching another one soon because it was so great. Okay, reveal number four. Okay, this is something we've been trying to do forever, guys, and we actually had the space and time. I don't know if we had the time, but we made the time to make it happen. This, this, this in the last two weeks, we launched a podcast, um, and the podcast is called. You're, 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 you're so, you're so not playing that one up. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? That is that is like. Okay, I, go ahead, play that it. Is, up. That is something that we've been I'm working being, on. I'm sorry, I'm being humble. I don't know. Go it's ahead, play that, it up. Well. It's a project that we've had on our mind for the longest time, and we've we've been. My hair looks like it's, it's, it's one of those things where. We, what's that? What are you talking about? My hair looks weird. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Oh my gosh! There's there's like a there's like a bug in there. <laughs> there, could be, there could be. I did wash it for you guys, but it's been days since I like. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Anyway, sorry. Go. So uh, we've been we've been looking to launch a podcast for <coughs> years now. Since like 2019 was like the first thought of launching a podcast, and so even and then during COVID and everyone was doing their own podcast, we're just like. We just have we to were learning it. to sail. We couldn't do anything else. Right. And so we didn't do it. And we thought we we just we were like, well, maybe not. And finally, in 2023, we said, this is going to be the, the year we're that we do it. We're going to do it this year. And um, we did it. And I, I this is all on you. This is your your thing. because Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so humble. Damn it, we launched a podcast. That's right. Arr! You guys, go subscribe. Write a review, so please. So the name of the podcast is called The Why Matters. And it revolves around the why of everything that we do I mean in life particularly and, and for us as being travelers for almost 10 years now we're on our 10th year now um you know there's a lot of things that we've learned <coughs> going around this planet and we, we we can we can sort of analogize a lot of things to to what are the things that we've done as we've traveled and we're only six episodes into the podcast or no, five episodes into five the podcast episodes. launches every Wednesday it launches every Wednesday and so the first five are up and uh, we're super excited about that. Yeah, because I guess I guess it was. It's almost like, like you know we're pouring our hearts out because we can we can actually have these conversations like we're having with you now, but we can't have it in a vlog um, because yeah. the, the vlog's more yeah. about the adventure than it is about sort of sharing our, our our thoughts about why humans do what they do and 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 analogize it to stories and so forth and so on. Yeah, I think that. My hair is driving me crazy. God, right you were now. just going to go ahead and just say it next. I, I know. I don't know. I don't know what I, I'm, you know, I'm still a little under the weather, guys. So I'm not, I'm not like, but my, this is, this is really, but big. yeah, it was, it's, it is a, it is a big deal. And Will's right. It, it took a lot. And, and we're, <clears throat> we're sharing a deeper and more um, private side of us um, in, in the effort to share the why behind the things that we do. And Will and I, as well as, as humans, and um, we're hoping that that we will eventually have guests on too once we've kind of really found our groove. Um, we're hoping that talking about why we do the things we do as humans um, can benefit everyone. And so sharing what we've what we've learned, what others have learned, studies that we found, we've shared a lot of book recommendations on there. Um, I think that we don't talk about in life like why we're doing something enough in general. And and we hope it's going to be well received. Um, and, and, right. and you guys all love it. And, and if you do, can you please give us a, I think Apple podcast is the only, it's on all the platforms. And if it's not on your platform, let us know. We'll make sure it gets added. But I think Apple is the only one where you can actually leave a review. So whatever platform you listen on, please subscribe or like, or five star it or whatever. But if you can leave a review that really, really helps tremendously. And we would greatly appreciate right. it. We have about, um, <clears throat> scripted at the when i say scripted i mean like like idea story out. storyboarded whatever we have about like 10 different podcasts being <coughs> done but if you guys have anything you want us to maybe share and talk about and maybe you want us to get our insight into how we we tackle something um that'd be really cool yeah. too and um and yeah i mean she she does the most work on on, on the podcast and, and i'm, I'm so really you gotta proud be of it. in with me if you I, want i'm really no i'm really proud of it i think i think <laughs> i think it's turned out to be something that i can look at and just say yeah that, that's it's I'm proud of it. I too. would listen to it. Listen I'm proud. I'm proud of it too because it feels like, it feels like we can we can just share the good, the bad, and the ugly in an effort to help other people. And I think that's really important in life. Um, Julia says my hair looks good. Oh, great. Even Will's Will's hair always looks good. We just woke um, up. To be honest with you, we, we, today... we had to take a nap because I was feeling not so great. So I've been taking a lot of naps since I've been sick. So so this the, is the our bad hair. So once again, the podcast is called The Why Matters. Yeah. It's, it's available on all the podcasts, Apple, Google, Spotify, wherever you, you get it. Yeah. And, um, and so give it a listen. Yeah. Let us know what you think. The, it releases every Wednesday. Um, when will you guys go back to South Morocco? I love the vlogs with my people. Um, 
possibly what we're, I can't really Is say yet, but reveal? well, it, it's going to come in, in a bit in a different reveal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Second star life says, I knew you guys would be good at podcasts, but it's even better than I expected. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's Thank so you. sweet. Thank you so much. And we didn't pay you to say that. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. mom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That wasn't my mom. <laughs> okay. Reveal number five. We kind of touched on this, but I think we can go a little bit deeper. Will we go back to the boat? We going to go back to the boat, Will? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a strong yes at this point. And we can talk about when, once we finish all the reveals, because some reveals will lead to when we're going back to the boat. Um, do we miss it? I I miss a lot of things, but I'm living in the land of reality in the sense of I know what living on the boat now that we've done it entails and I'm not willing to sacrifice taking away from the time that we have with Largo right now to go back to the boat, if that makes sense. Um, and I hope people res you know, respect that and understand that, but he's going to be, he's going to be ready to launch. He's 16. He's going to want to go at 18. He has plans. He's going to become a pilot and, and we're going to make the most of the time we have, you know? And so he actually still likes hanging out with us and hopefully that'll always happen, but he's going to get his own life. And so, yeah, so, soaking so it up, baby, soaking it up. A lot, there's a lot more things happening in the pipeline, which you'll understand why it's not happening right yeah. away. Yeah. However, um, I mean, we all kind of miss the boat, I, you know, and, and. In different, different degrees and different scenarios. Like I don't miss the maintenance. I miss that. Um, Will misses the maintenance. I miss that. I miss. I miss everything about the boat. However, I'm not. I'm not saying that what I'm doing now isn't as good, if not yeah. better, at times than the boat. So I miss. I actually miss sailing. I know some of you are probably like, "What?" Because you're always seasick. But I do. I love. I love that feeling of being on the open ocean. I don't like being in marinas. Um, I don't like that kind of. I don't like paying for marinas, and I don't like feeling like we're just kind of trapped there in the marina. Like I want to go places. So I do really miss that. Um, I, th I think we're in a very good position where we're actually enjoying what we're doing now. Mary says the sound. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go the ahead. sound is a bit crackling once in a while. That's mm. okay. I wonder what that is. I don't is. know. If it happens more, let me know. Yeah. If it continues to happen a lot, let us know. It could be our Wi-Fi. What, France doesn't have the best Wi-Fi, guys. But anyways, but it's really it's really good to be in this position where we, we love being where we are now and we love the boat. And so... Wherever we go, we win. Um, so right now, sort of, as, as you'll find out, there's just a lot more in the pipeline. So we'll just yeah. sort of live in, in the now. And then when we're there, we'll, we'll just miss it even more. All right. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Number six, why are we behind on the vlogs? Um, well, I think everything that we just told you <laughs> might, might be an indication, but there's been a lot of life stuff. Um launching a podcast. We've had our trips. Our trips are, are, are one of our main income generators for us. So they have to be our, um, they have to be our priority. Um, we love doing the vlogs, but they're, they're not, they definitely don't support us financially. So sometimes they have to take a back seat. We have hired an editor um, and she's been really fabulous. Um, and, and then she filters things to Will and he does the final touches on it. So he, unfortunately, and I'm not saying to be mean, he, he would say it. He's kind I'm of the, the bottleneck. He's the bottleneck. And so we're really working now that we've got the podcast launch and the India trip under our belt and some other trips kind of in the process of launching to be able to have more time to dedicate, to get caught up. We hate being behind guys. We hate it, hate it, hate it. We're sorry. We're not going anywhere. I know we had a lot of lapses where we didn't have anything and we felt horrible and hopefully you don't hate us for it or think we don't care. We really, really do. But we're just Will and I um, running every aspect of our life and, and it's only the two of us and we're doing the best we can with what we have. Well, let, let's, you know? let's pause for a second. Let, let me, let's, let's, let's talk about sort of what we do because I think some people just say, well, what do they do? They just sort of live in a boat or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, and and from, just from a sharing perspective, we have a lot that we have going on. Um, number one, there's here and YouTube, which, yeah. we, which is like the OG. Um, yeah. We've done this forever. And then there's Instagram, which you share. How I'm, much are you sharing on Instagram nowadays? Um, Instagram it, is it depends. It goes, it, it ebbs and flows, but I mean, I do share, I, I share something probably every, if not every day, every couple of days. And sometimes I'll go like on a binge or I won't share for like three or four days because I'm hyper-focusing on building a trip and then I'll share like 30 things. But I try, I, I'm, it's current time for Instagram. So I'm keeping you aligned with what's going on in our life at present day. Right. And then there's Substack. So just as a newsletter. <laughs> I have a newsletter I do once you 
it's it's it says once a week. Sometimes it's once a week. Sometimes it's two, three times a week. Sometimes I'll like when we were on the India trip, I went several weeks without posting. So that is a little bit like the podcast in the sense that it's kind of my streaming thoughts, but also like a deeper look into our life about things that we just want to talk about or I feel are relevant or I want to share with you guys. It'll be like if, if for instance, if something happened along the day, which like um, let, let me, what's an example where basically something like we what's it like? <laughs> I'll give you an example. Give her an example because you're the one who writes that too. It sounds so, like Jessica does everything, and, and she. I don't. Does. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I really don't. Will Will, will edits the vlog. Well, he doesn't edit the vlogs. I guess you do nothing. Do I you? don't do anything. <laughs> I don't. That's um, why I missed the boat. So I can go back and doing something. So, um, it, for example, I wrote a, a newsletter um, last week or the week before about how I'm really bad about asking for help. And then 2023, Will and I did a lot of personal work on ourselves um, and self-improvement and mental wellness and all this stuff. And one of the things I recognize is that it's not benefiting me um, not being able to ask for help. So I wrote a whole thing about how I need, I'm working on how, how learning how to ask for help and how it makes other people happy to help as well as it helps me. And it sets a good example for our children that it does take a village and we don't need to go it alone. So I kind of write about things like that. Sometimes like I just posted something of a recap of our India group trip, that kind of stuff. So anyway. Um, and then we have beyond that, there is uh, we have Patreon as well, where we share more as well. And it's more like the after party. Like Are you thing. talking about the different places we share? Yeah, okay, yeah at okay. this point. Because I mean, because it sounds like we're just like, well, we're taking a break and we're take, focusing on something oh, else. Oh, no, we but have a lot going on. But we're on, always yeah. active on the social scene. And, and then we also, well, I mean, I guess that's not a social thing. That's a business thing. But we have private consulting clients about full-time travel. All right. We have some questions here. So let's see. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, um, you uh, just caught you live and just listened to your latest podcast. Oh, was it good? Did you like it? <laughs> My ego needs a fix. Thank, Thank you, Kat D. Um, Sand, I like your way of life. Just looking in, inside instead of showing outside everything. That's the best way and find your way and the reason why you're living just for a short time on this earth. Exactly, exactly. Um, okay, Sarah Bear says the the... The sound is better now. It must. It was something I moved. So, um, uh, Leanne, Leanne says, "Oh, Leanne says you're just eye candy. Thank <laughs> I'm you. the brains behind the operation. Okay, <laughs> he's the brains behind the boat, guys. Um, and Leanne, we're gonna see you soon. I can't wait. Yay. Um, um, and Julian says, "I liked it when you returned to the Panama Canal in the vlogs. I think they became smoother from that point onwards. Yeah, the Panama Canal was was." It's still such a crowning moment. Crossing the Panama Canal was just really such a cool experience. Um, um, oh, okay. So, Kat D, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna address what you're saying right now because we haven't shared that yet. We're, that's one of the reveals. Um, well, now it's going there. <laughs> don't look at what Kat said. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number reveal number seven. Um, okay, so reveal number seven is we have. So we are only doing two group trips. <laughs> Um, two group trips and 2024. One was India and the other one is Peru, which is in a couple of weeks. We're going to hike the Andes Mountains with a group um, to Machu Picchu, which we're really excited about. And then there's no more trips for the rest of the year. But our 2025 group trips will be launching the end of this week. And if you're a patron or consulting client or been on a past trip, you have early access as well as a very substantial discount. Um, the trips we have coming up are Vietnam. Um, we have, mm, we have a Camino next Camino as well. Um, South of France, South of France, Morocco, and possibly Christmas markets. So that just to give you an idea, they'll I think, all, I think that the volume goes when you touch that. Oh, you think so? Yeah, Am yeah, I yeah. touching that? Okay. Let me just move my phone over move here. That over there. My phone has my notes on it, guys. I know I seem like I can remember everything, but I can't. Um, okay, hopefully that's better. So that, those are just just letting you guys know those are some some of the trips that we have coming for 2025. And our goal is to launch them at the end of next week and then um, fill them all within a, a month because we have another big thing that's coming up that's going to take up a considerable amount of time. So I, I think it's just important just to remind people of what the trips are. So the trips. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Honey. The, the trips are <coughs> where you, you come and travel with us for seven to ten days depending on, on the, what the trip is yeah and and we 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 live 
like we live. If things go wrong, things go wrong. If things yeah. go right, there, you know, things go right. And and not to say that sort of it's, it's just this big sort of just like roll the dice. But but no, we, no, we, we they're planned. We, we plan. have we have accommodations. We have activities set up. We don't wing it with you guys. No, but. no, like we make every day action packed, and to the point where you just, you just say. Maybe I need a break. <laughs> but but we, we definitely give you, you know, our the way that we would do a city or a country, and you get to live our our style. And and we, you know, you walk away going, "Wow, these guys live an amazing life." And we have one, possibly two trips in twenty twenty five that are going to take it to the next level, which is going to be like insane, like. Uh, moving faster, sleeping on trains, like sleeping in hostels, because there's been a desire for that. That'll only be one to two trips um, in 2025, but the, it's it's there's been the, the need for it and the curiosity, so we decided to offer it. All right, reveal number eight. What's next for us? So we're, in, we're sitting in Paris. We're sitting in Paris. Okay. At the end of February, we're just, you, you already said it, we're going yeah. to Peru. We're going to be hiking the Inca Trail. And um, the Inca Trail has multi-purposes at this point. Because first it was just going to be a group trip that we're doing. And yes, we're going to do it. We're going to vlog it. It's going to be amazing. And um, You're not doing reveal number 10 yet, are you? No, okay. no. But it is going to serve as a training ground for something else that is coming in. Um, reveal number 10. So, And then, okay, so after so Peru. After Peru. And then mystery reveal, which is coming at the end. Uh, we have ourselves... We're going to be in the U.S. at that point. Yeah. And then Largo, we asked earlier, someone asked earlier about what's Largo. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You can't reveal that yet. Why not? No, 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 no. Why not? What are you revealing? About who? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no? No. Okay. okay. Sorry, Sorry, guys. He's he's going off script here. I can't, I can't do that one. It, there's a reason you can't. Okay. 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 So what's next is Peru. And then I'm speaking after Peru. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You forgot that. I, I didn't missed you. like a whole chapter. <laughs> I thought you did. I was like, where is he going? Did you zone out for a second? No, I just totally forgot that we were talking about that part. Okay. So, so. This is really cool. I can't believe I forgot about this part. Okay. So, Peru group trip. And then we all go to the US. And then I'm actually speaking at a conference called Alt Summit in Palm Springs. I'm not the keynote speaker. I'm a, a smaller speaker. Um, and my topic is selling it all to full-time travel, what it really takes to launch the dream. And it's going to be real. There's going to be some reality there. So what's Alt Summit? So Alt Summit is a um, influencer and woman entrepreneur conference. And um, I'm honored to be selected to be part of it. Um, it. It really feels wonderful. I love Palm Springs too. And I have some friends there. I'm going to hang out with them and whatnot. Um, and then we're kind of getting to reveal number 10, mm -hmm. but we don't have a reveal number nine. So what should we tell them? We just thought it sounded cool to have 10 reveals. So what are we going to tell them for number nine? Let's answer some questions for reveal number nine. Let's, what do you think? Yeah, let, let's go there. All right. Um, hi, Sarah. Mary says, in life, we can allow things to take their natural course. This can also mean that when you don't know what to do, do nothing instead. Only jump at opportunities when you really, when you feel ready. Yeah, we're jumping at some opportunities right now, Mary. Get ready. Um, <laughs> um, What's going on? So what is, you know what? <coughs> nine, okay. Let me think sort of what can we do for number Revealed nine? Revealed something for number nine. What can we reveal? Our goals for 2024. You have your, you, uh, you are, really? I don't know. No, I I'm don't, just, I don't want, I, I'm not going to do that one. You can do that if you want to. I don't really have my goals. Okay. Yet. Okay. <laughs> Leanne asked, <laughs> uh, okay, well, here's, we'll do this. We'll answer this question for reveal number nine. Uh, Leanne asked, how do you handle Avalon being in the U.S.? We miss her. You guys, we, we totally, totally miss her. I mean, I miss her. Do you miss her? Will we, doesn't miss her. We talk to her like every day. We do. We talk to Avalon a lot. We we text a lot. We have a family chat. Um, to be honest, um, I because of where we've been and what's been going on in our life for her, her first year and a half at university, we haven't visited as much as I would have liked to. So the, the big reveal that we have coming up, reveal number 10, is going to allow us an opportunity to visit more. Um, Avalon has had to pack herself up at the end of the school year, freshman year, and get her boxes and stuff into a storage. And then when she went back in August, 
Um, she went a little bit early because she did um, freshman move in and helped kids move in, which is really sweet. Um, she had to move herself all back in when all the other parents were helping. And I kind of felt like a shitty parent, but then I also felt like, you know, she's independent. This is good for her self-esteem and her confidence. And we knew she could do it, but I also want to be able to be there to help during these things. Like she was super sick in November and December and had to spend the night in the hospital and everything. And we weren't there and it was just... It just, it just felt like she was sick for five days. It just felt awful being that far away. But I guess that's just, that's just the mom in me. And I think it'll always be like that, but we definitely, definitely miss her. And um, yeah. Do you have something to say? I, I miss Avalon. <laughs> Avalon, if you're watching this, we miss you so much. Oh, um, she's, she's not going to watch our live. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> she's out doing her own thing. Um, also, Lago misses her a ton, which is really, but he's he's been able to fly and see her, which has been really great. Um, Avalon internship staying in the U.S. or heading overseas or what's the focus? Um, she's looking to stay in the U.S. She's looking to stay in the U.S., yeah. Possibly with us because she's um, she's a business major and focusing on entrepreneurialism. So she's looking to um, get an internship with a startup. Um, the thing with startups is they don't pay. So that's that's a bit of an obstacle for her because she can't go and live in New York City without getting paid or something. So um, that's all something she's figuring out. And she even said, you know, that she might join us um on our next adventure for a couple of weeks, which we're going to reveal in a minute. So um um, Avalon advised me a couple of books for my kids to learn for their English. They've enjoyed it again. Thanks to Avalon. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. Avalon still has her French, Spanish, math, English, um, teaching business while she's at university, which is really, really great. Um, anyway. Okay. All right. I think it's time think to it's... give reveal number 10. Um, and, um, okay. So here we go. If anyone listens to the podcast, we've already revealed it there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, and if you're a patron, you already know as well. Yes. So, and if you were on the India group trip, you know as well. <laughs> so, the rest of you, just, you're the only two of you that don't know. Uh, okay. So, um, we are going to be going back to the United States woo, for the first time in 10 years and eat a lot of bagels for more than just a couple of weeks because we are going to through hike the Appalachia. Did I say it right? Appalachian. Appalachia Trail. Um, and so for those of you, because I know we have an international community here. For those of you who don't know what that is, um, do you want to explain it or do you want me to? You're very good it at is, explaining it. Is it. A, basically, it's a 2,196-mile through hike that goes from Springer Mountain, Georgia, all the way to Mount Katahdin in Maine, uninterrupted. And it takes people from... Four, four to six months to six months to yeah. complete and it is going to be the biggest <laughs> the biggest the biggest the biggest adventure challenge that we've gone through yet as a family do you want to skip um, that no 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 um okay um so so <clears throat> all right so um sorry we had something come up on our screen that we had to youtube was so, trying to add we're trying to insert advertisements and we just said no yeah, they're trying to sneak in some ads into our live. We're talking to you guys. Can't they see that? Jeez, we don't need an advertisement. That's why we're not on a TV show. All right. The people that so, watch us on replay, they'll get ads. But you guys watching live, you'll get, you guys will get ads. <laughs> You're special. So the plan is, is that in December, we made the spontaneous decision to hike it. There were a lot of reasons. Um, a lot of it has to do with our why and, and only limited time left with Largo and really wanting to do another big adventure. And um, it works out so that it's going to be just Largo and I that are hiking the entire thing. And Will's going to join us on the weekends because he has to keep, even though he said, I do all the work, um, he does a lot of work. And so he's going to keep the ship. I'm trying to make, the no, ship. I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm a kept man. I don't, I don't do anything. He's a kept house. man, but I'm going to go off and hike. Um, it's going to be really, really, that's one reason we're getting all of our 2025 trips launched and hopefully filled and everything taken care of before I start on the trail. Um, I'm I'm still going to be, and people don't like to hear this that are hiking the trail, I've hiked it, but I am still going to need to work a couple hours a day, but I can do it from my phone in the tent. Um, it's an intense trip. It's not like hiking. I don't know if you'll be walk, working a couple hours a day. I think you will try to. I think there'll be some days where you work a couple hours a day. But I don't think every day will maybe be not every day, day, but I will get off the trail at least once a week and do like a 15 hour day to kind of um, tape the podcast. 
<coughs> excuse me, write the newsletter. Um, I can answer emails from my phone. I can do stuff with the trips from my phone and stuff. Um, it's a it's a balancing act, and we're gonna. It takes a village. Will is actually going to be support in the sense that he's going to be actually driving up the coast of the United States. I'm going to be the dude in the chair. That's basically going to yeah. be following them along as support, and they will go days, if not maybe weeks, without seeing me. But when they need me, I will be. A, a day's drive away. And so those of you who don't know like the, the depth of it and you're thinking Camino, it's nothing like the Camino. You have to carry um, your sleeping gear, your food, a tent. You sleep out in the wilderness anywhere between three to seven days before you come into a town, get a shower. Yeah, you don't shower that whole time. Um, recharge, your do your laundry, recharge your equipment, all that kind of stuff. So it's really, really intense. Um, and it's, and it sounds like I'm, 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 I don't know if we're presenting it well because I am a little under the weather still, but it's an exciting adventure and it's really, really an adventure because um, it has a low success rate. That doesn't mean people die. That means that about 3000 people start it every year and only about 20 to 25% finish. Um, it's that intense. It's physically um, exhausting and difficult, but it's, it's the, the more, the more difficult aspect is the mental part of it. Um, it's really, really a mental game. So um, Lagra and I are preparing. We're doing a lot of meditation. We're reading a lot of books about mental strength. Um, hopefully the, the, you know, the 10, 10 years that we've been at this full-time travel and crossing an ocean and learning to sail and fighting fears and all that kind of stuff um, will, will help us through this journey. Um, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, the woods just going for nice long walks it's is, is nice. really magical. And it, it has a lot of introspective in, intros. I can't say the word, you know what I'm talking about and <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff. So what do you want to, what else do you want no, to say? I, was gonna say it? it's, I mean, I will, I will, there'll be pockets where I can walk on the trail with them for a week or two um, weekends so yeah, forth and so yeah. on. Um, but the trip that we're doing to Machu Picchu will be the Excuse test run. <clears throat> Because it's a shakedown hike. Because basically, between Machu Picchu and the start of the AT, it's only like four weeks. So yeah. there's, there's, there's. That's it. You know, if we're not ready for, if you're not ready for Machu Picchu, yeah, then, then we have to. Well, and also, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna start slow, so we're gonna start like five miles a day on the trail. We're, we're not gonna hit twenty miles a day right out of the gate. Um, that's how you get injured. Um, we're going to have weather to deal with and animals and critters and all this kind of stuff and a bear bag. And so there's a lot, there's a lot coming down the line um, and a lot of education still that we need to do. But I'm, I'm super, super thrilled to have made the space in our life and time to do this. Um, is it the right time? No. It's never, it's never, ever, ever the right time. And and if you listen to our podcast that we released, I don't remember what episode it was about about doing it now before it's too late. That's kind of, that's kind of one of the the things that kind of was the catalyst of us doing it. That we felt like this was the time. Um, there's no, there's, it's not. It can't happen next year. It can't happen the year after next year. Largo was a junior. He can't take the time off um, because it's a really intense school year. That next year is a senior year. The next year he's he's in college. And Will and I just didn't want to wait until retirement. We just didn't know if we'd both would want to or be able to or 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 where we'd be financially. Um, and so we said, now's the time. Um, yep. And yeah. And so that's it. Um, so I see there's some it's, questions. It's there. going to be super exciting. We actually. <clears throat> Normally, when people do an AT, and and the plan is to vlog. Yeah, we're, Largo and I are going to vlog it, guys. We're going to do daily vlogs, and then Will has gonna be graciously mess. offered to edit them. So it, there's going to be like it's going to be a lot of fun. The AT vlogs mixed in with us still trying to catch up. It might be a little manic, but I know you guys can handle it, and um, hopefully you'll appreciate it. So, and so, to, <laughs> so to give you an idea of how the channel will work from 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 the AT perspective, because basically we only have. You're on trail in two in two months. Yeah. Um. And and then once that happens, then we're going to be daily vlogging it, and there'll probably be like a good two weeks between when you start and the vlog starts circulating through. Just yeah, because, I think so. Oh, I think I just hit that. I could adjust myself. Just because of the way that sort of thing. we're we're going to be managing the workflow. Um. <laughs> and so, <laughs> basically, because we won't be caught up on our regular life vlogs just because of life. Um. So we're trying now to get as caught up as humanly possible, but. 
I think that during the AT, as we do daily vlogs, there'll be a vlog about Vietnam sprinkled in there. <laughs> in the middle there. I'll be like, hold on, I thought you were somewhere. So when, when in people Virginia. are like, what's going on with these people? I need in the comments, I need one of you to step up and say, go listen to this live. I think you're on that. That might be doing that look because you're okay. I think your life's hitting back. That's cool. Um go tell them to go listen to this live because we explain it all that we're not completely manic. We're just like, yeah, we're just living our life and trying to do it the best we know how. So, all right. So, this, so there were some questions here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let's just address. Ah, Thank you, Dace. Dace Sleesign. I hope that's, I hope we're pronouncing your name right. Thank, thank you, you so much for the super thank chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to use that to buy myself a bagel on the AT trail. <laughs> All right. You can get two for that. <laughs> I don't know. New York bagels are getting pretty expensive. All right. So um, the, some of the questions you guys have, I'm going to go through the questions here. If you have more, just drop them in there. Where, where, where's happening to Largo? Okay. So Largo is coming. He is Largo's being committed. He is. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting rid of Largo. I'm going alone. Largo's coming. And then I'm sure this is probably a question related to his school too. Because he has these dual enrollment classes, they run in nine week segments and they're intense. They're college class in a nine week session. So even though we didn't decide until the beginning of December, he had taken quite a few at the beginning of the semester, at the first semester. He's taking another one right now. And then he will still have to do um, a couple, his French and Spanish classes while on the trail. But his teachers have agreed to do it kind of while we're hiking and chatting with him and stuff because we're going to have to get off the trail in May for about two to three weeks for him to go take his AP. And for those of you who are not familiar with what that is, it's um, it's advanced placement tests that we have in the United States. And he's going to take it in French and Spanish. He may have to take a class over the summer. Um, but everyone that he works with has been like his English teacher said he can finish up English like beyond the school year if he needs to and take his own time. So um, we've lived this alternative lifestyle for a very long time. And people that we work with and educators outside of the outside of the dual enrollment program. They're very rigid and strict and you, there's no flexibility, which is understandable. But his other teachers have been very flexible and understand and see the value in this. And, and so do we. So he will will start the end of March. So he'll have like six weeks of school left. And then we'll hopefully end by like the second week in September. So he'll just miss like two weeks at the beginning of next year. So Largo, um, by the time that he <coughs> finishes high school and that chapter is still not, that book is still not completed, <laughs> but he would have gone ahead and hiked the Camino. He would have hiked the AT. He would have crossed an ocean. <laughs> he would have flown a plane by himself, which he's done. Not by himself, but with an instructor. Yes. Um, he, let's see here. Well, he'll probably have his private pilot's license by then too. Right. Well, are we going there? Yes. Okay. So this is reveal number 11. 11. Wait, wait, oh, let's finish answering the questions okay. and then we'll go to reveal number 11. Don't let us forget reveal number 11, okay? Um, Kat D says, I'm an avid hiker and will love to follow you guys on that. Maybe even meet up with you guys for a day. You you never know. I think, Kat, you said you were near the trail. Send me a message because I'm keeping an Excel sheet of people that are near the trail that want to come and have lunch or whatever, you know, eat some popcorn on the side of the trail together, whatever. Um and, and awesome. And, Thank you for following. And we will, and we, there'll be more on that coming Wednesday. Yeah. So listen to the next podcast because. Yeah, there's more information and, coming about and this. More on the next, um, if you, you guys, if you subscribe to the newsletter, there'll be more on that as well. And that's coming on Wednesday as well. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm so congested and sniffly. There's nothing I can do about it. I know it's disgusting. Um, Julian says, through hike the AT. Wow, that's a commitment. Last stage of my last Camino was about 3,000 out of a total 5,000, but that's in Europe and mostly flat. Um, but will can be your supply gopher. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds big and huge. And like, listen, I was in Palm Springs sometime over the last year and I was telling a friend of mine and he said, you guys have lost your freaking marbles. He's like, this is insane. And I was like, he's like, this is the craziest thing you've ever done. And I love you. You know, you're, you know who you are. I know you're probably not on here right now, but my dear friend. Um, and I said, going trip with us, by the and way. I said, you think this is crazier than buying a boat, not knowing how to sail, learning to sail, and then crossing an ocean a year later? Like, to me, that seems a lot crazier. And he's like, no, this is insane. You're going to sleep in the woods with bears? <laughs> so I don't know what you guys think. I don't think this there's, is as there, crazy there, as there's that. A but... lot of, there's a lot of people. Listen, this, this trail has been done by everyone, and it's been documented all over the place. But for some reason like family saying, you're doing this without Will? And I was like, yeah. They yeah, I was this. like, <laughs> right? Like, what's you Will going to do? This. Like, he's going to fight off a bear? I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to reason with a bear. I'm going to be, listen, bear, 
Is this really what you want? Do you I want mean, I think, us? I, think there, I think there is safety in numbers. And I will say that, you know, for sure. And Will was a Boy Scout. So Will Will knows a lot of a lot of really useful stuff. Um, but I think Largo and I can do it. I'm not exactly like this fragile, you know, flower that can't, can't do it. Wait till you guys. I'm sure there's going to be vlogs where I'm crying. I'm sure it's hard. You know, I mean, I'm not going to deny that. Not, I'm not going to cry. It's going to be hard. Okay, Kat said... Pennsylvania will be a bad section. Just make sure you have a new pair of shoes by that time. All rocks. I know I've been watching some things online. That looks awful. The whites in New Hampshire and the hundred mile woods in Maine. Oh my gosh. Um, Julian says mentally on these very long ones, there's a barrier to break through at about two and a half months to three months. Yeah. Right. Cause it's easy to say, I mean, I've hiked for a month and a half, but with family and with a lot of pampering, you know, um, the Camino for me, you know, I'm not, it was hard for me. I'm not going to say it wasn't, but I always knew there was a bed waiting for me at night and I didn't have to set it up. So, um, yeah, I mean, six months is a long time, right? You know, I mean, and I, they say a lot of people stop because they just get bored. I'm with Largo, so I'm not going to get bored because he's a lot of fun, but all right. Um, now who's to say that you don't, you don't just finish the AT and then decide we're going to sell the boat and just hike for the rest of our lives. I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. I don't see that if happening. Anything's possible. But you never know. You guys, I mean, I never thought a year ago I'd be hiking the Appalach Appalachia Trail. I mean, I just, life is like that, right? And when things come your way, you just choose whether you're going to seize the moment or you're not, and if it works for you or not. So Harper's Ferry, Virginia, halfway point. Focus on that. Yay. Hey, Dizzy. Hello from Santa Fe. Just turned on the computer and saw that you were on. So happy to... Uh, happy about that since I missed the month's li live stream. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about it on the, uh, this is a patron. We'll talk more about it on the monthly live stream as well. We missed you. Um, I lost both my parents in the last six months. Snickers said, there's no promise of tomorrow. Do it now. Oh uh, yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm really sorry to hear that. And you're right. There is, there is no promise and we just don't know how we're going to be five and 10 years from now. So um, Blue Clue says, is, Av uh, is Avalon his French teacher? No, no. Avalon, Avalon would be his French teacher, but she has her own business and her own clients and a wait list. And so we just went with the French teacher that taught her with him. Um, um, yeah, Julian, yep. In the woods with bears. <laughs> I'll reason with the bear. Second star likes that. I'll reason. I'll get my spreadsheet out and I'll I will. explain. I will. Well, how this really going to affect you? Excuse me. I had a woman. nose again. I'm sorry. All right. So, which leads us to reveal. I know this is gross. I, there's nothing I can do. So I don't think we're, I don't, I don't think we're calling this a reveal. I just thought that was going to be just like the next chapter. However, in the spirit of revealing everything, so and this taking credit for it. Right. This summer of 2024, we were originally going to be in the United States so that Largo could get his private pilot's license. And um, um because we're doing the AT, we will now he will now be starting his private pilot's license in October in the United States. So it's likely we will be in the United States for six months on the AT and then six months for him to get his private pilot's license. Um excuse me, from March of 2024 to March of 2025. So yeah, so we're going to be doing some meetups and some all kinds of things and lots, there's a lot going on. Um, so and 2024 slash 25 will be a lot of us in the United States, which yeah. would be an interesting concept for us because we haven't done more than 30 days in the U.S. We haven't even done 30 days. And we dropped Avalon off at school. It was like 20 days or something. We did that in, in well, one year we did like 30 days. But that we did? Was, yeah, it was between Ecuador and France. But Wait, was it 30 consecutive days? Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember that. Yeah. Okay. Was, but I mean, it's been, it's once again, that's been was, a long time. That was 2016. So, you know, we're 2024 now. It, it's, it's crazy. How the clock just goes. Yeah. And so this is going to be an interesting concept for us because being in the U.S. just we miss it, but we're used to not being there. And yeah, I don't think I don't think we'll stay longer than that year. And it's not because we don't like the U.S. It's that it's because we really like the life we have. Um, but our thing in life has always been about the adventures and about also, um, you know, um, 
supporting our children's goals. And this is a goal of Largo's and it needs to be done in the United States and we're game and fully supporting it. And hopefully we'll end up in a part of the United States that has some adventures we can have, maybe a part we haven't lived so we can see some new things um, and explore and do meetups and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, if you're thinking, wait a minute, are you guys gonna, are you guys gonna stay in the US? It's very, very, very unlikely um, because we really like, we like um, traveling. Right. You know, we lived in the U.S. for 40 years, so we've done that, and and it wasn't a bad life. We, we definitely didn't leave because it was a bad life. Um, we left because we wanted the travel adventure right. and to see the world. You know? Our responsibility <laughs> first is being parents, yeah, and then all this is next, yeah, and so, so it just it is what it is. So who knows what's going to happen when Largo flies the coop, right? Um, Becky says, looking forward to hopefully hooking up with you all on the AT somewhere, maybe Harper's Ferry, all depends on the timing. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Kat D says, what about your cat? Hmm. Um, so. <laughs> That's a great question. Will is going to have his own YouTube channel of the man traveling up the AT support guy with his cat. I can only imagine. Century is going to be traveling with, with Will. And so a lot of people have said, hey, we'll put Will up for a month. He wants to stay, you know, and we have an apartment in the basement or whatever, but Will is traveling with Century, so it's a little more complicated, yeah. There was um, there was once upon a time, and I don't know if this, this still exists or not, but I remember when we first started uh, doing the RV, we saw, someone recommended a channel to us, which was this one guy. Oh, the, yes. And I don't know if he was a pickup, if he was a truck driver. No, he was in an RV with a he cat. Was in an RV yes, with a cat. Yes, I remember that. And, and, I mean, I was just like, wow. <laughs> That's going to be Will. There's going to be no more Jessica and Largo doing daily vlogging of the AT. Will and the cat are going to take over. And I was like, that, will never, <laughs> that can never be and ne will never be me because I have you. So <laughs> no. and, It's going to be Will and the cat. Be careful what you say because the next thing you know, I'm, it's going to be in Century <laughs> Show. <laughs> will and Century. I don't know how I'm going to utilize that because I'm going to have my hands full with, with everything else. But boy, it'd be fun to figure out how I can actually share those moments. Oh, you you're going to have to. You're going to have to. There's no know. way you can't. All right. Becky says, by the way, the podcast is fire. It's definitely a forte. Oh, my God. Thank you so thank much. You. I love that. Fire in all caps. Um, Blue Clue says, we need to try an excursion into the boundary waters of northern, Min uh, the boundary waters of northern Minnesota. Ooh, that sounds that sounds cold and scary and, and awesome. And awesome. <laughs> Julian says the homemade wanderlust YouTube channel is a great resource on the American through hikes. Yeah, I just watched her. What, I, her name? What's her name? Dixie. Dixie? Uh, I was gonna call her Trixie. Dixie. Um, I watched her um, hygiene one and hygiene and something else while I was sick. And she had, she's very as she's a smart girl. She's got a lot of useful information on there. I really appreciate it. Maybe a new vlog title for Will. Will and the cat. <laughs> Listen, Ju <sighs> Ju Julian asked whether I'm gonna be back in RV. I would love to be back in RV. However, we don't. Um, yeah, it's it's not so so we're very we're very fortunate that Jessica's parents have an extra vehicle, and yeah. so we're going to be utilizing that as my sort of transport. And so if if they had an extra RV, yeah, that, that would have been amazing. We talked about an RV or a will in a van, but we just it's just not in our budget to buy no. buy one of those right now, especially if we'd only use it for six months. So. Um, but that would be ideal and perfect. And that would be Will's dream, to be honest. He doesn't really like the idea of spending a month at a time in Airbnbs along the way. Um, MP if there's anyone out there, however. Who wants to let you borrow their RV? <laughs> I, I would be very grateful. That's a lot of responsibility. I know. <laughs> I've done it before. Century needs her own bunk. All right. MP Jonas says, hola from Puerto Vallada. Puerto Vallada. Ah. You never. Yeah. Um, you never top amazing me, and I truly admire your drive, perseverance, and always planning for the more amazing adventure following you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We had a great time in Puerto Vallarta, remember? We had a wonderful time there on the boat. Is that, wait, is that the one that had the crocodiles too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the crocodiles. <gasps> we had a great time there. No, remember, we were coming home one night late at night, and the security guy in the marina walked us back to the boat saying, you got to watch out. Is it crocodiles? We were, or like we were very, it was, it was and the same thing. I thought he was, I thought he was screwing with us. I was like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm serious. Like, he was very serious. He had the light. And we stuff. loved, we loved being in Mexico. 
Love, because, love, love, love Mexico. Because yeah. some of the marinas there, they like come with like resorts and you get to use a pool and everything else. <laughs> and, and the one in Puerto Rico, we have to use the pool there. And it was, it was just a lot of fun because you can't swim in the marina because of the crocodiles. Because of the crocodiles. And we did see some crocodiles. So um, uh, Second Star Life said, awaiting Will and the cat merch. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Don't oh go. my gosh. Yes. That'd be oh so cute. God. That would be cute. That'd be so cute. <laughs> Here I am, like trying to poo poo on it, but I, I can't see it down. I love but. it. Um, and Mary says, "Looking forward to grandchildren." Oh my gosh, wow. grandchildren are so. That's not a. That, that'll be a reveal in like twenty three. Yeah, I mean, uh, their kids aren't even sure if they want children. I mean, they're so young. I, I'm definitely not pushing for that. I want them to do whatever. Of course, we would welcome grandchildren, but whatever works for them and how their life goes and whatever they're, you know, they're 19 and 16. So they've got so many more things going on. I mean, obviously, I think we've proved that life doesn't stop and adventures don't stop once you have kids, but they're on very different paths right now, which I think is fine. It's their, you know, their choice. So, wow, I think that is, I think we've got you guys all caught up to everything. You guys have some great questions, by the way. Does anyone else have any other questions before we... We let you go. This has been really, really fun. And um, I hope you're excited about the AT, um, as excited as we are. It's And, you know, there's, um, <clears throat> I do have some fears, you know, which we'll reveal in, in the daily vlogs. I mean, um, fear is is a natural human emotion. And I'm not, we've never denied these emotions and these fears that everything you guys know, I had a ton of fear with, with sailing. Um I don't think I live with lots of fear, but there are some fear. And I found that with fear that the more educated you become in what you're doing and skilled at it, the less the fear you have, right? So every day Largo and I are learning more and the fears are kind of going away a bit, but I'm not, I would never ever let life control me fear, through though. fear. I have some fears. Do you? Don't you discount my fears? No, I know. I know. But you I... have some fears of being alone with Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of me talking to the cat. <laughs> I talk to the and cat having, all the having time. Like real conversations. You know, they shouldn't have left me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you're the only one that really loves me, cat. <laughs> cat D says, I can't believe how long I followed you guys when you mentioned how long you did the Camino. Yeah, we've, I mean, we, I guess we've been around for a long time, right? Yep. yep. We're like a good wine, right? We are like a good wine. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so I think YouTube's trying to. Oh, they're put, trying to put ads again. To put more ads in again. YouTube, no. stop that. We're talking. I okay. Like that. Um, I think that's all we have to share. I mean, we well, we jumped on an hour and twelve minutes have gone by so fast. I know it has, right? It has. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you for sticking around. And, you know, we, we want to jump on and do a live because we're like, you know, people probably have no clue what's going on with us. We're posting erratically. We're, we're, we're here, we're there, we're everywhere. If you're following us on other social media, you're like, wait, the boat's in Mexico, but they're here, that's here, the kid's here, the cat's there. Um, so hopefully this clarifies everything and kind of caught you up to speed with everything. And yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah Kat D says, Kat hit that like button. Thank you. Yeah. Hit the like button. And you guys go check out the podcast, please. We would love, love your feedback and also just how we can make it better and how we can, you know, better serve the needs of everyone and what, why is, do you want us to talk about and all that kind of stuff? It's really. Um, and, and, and I'm sure Kat D says, she would say to tell everyone to, to make sure you give us a, a review. A review. <laughs> on, on, on the podcast. <laughs> And uh, and so that'd be really cool. Tomorrow there's going to be another video coming out, and it's going to be their announcement video. Because it's just like a five minute video about us announcing that we're going to be through hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's a thing, Appalachian basically. Yeah. It's, it's for everyone who. It's basically to announce to the people who are in that genre yeah. that watch AT hikes, um, and there is quite a bit. So of who is in the class of twenty? So so be careful when you start sort of looking at our vlogs for for our our, our AT hike because other people's AT, AT hike through through hikes are going to come through as well, and it's going to be really cool to see other people's perspective of how they hike it. Yeah, like, yeah There's a lot yeah. of daily vloggers that do the AT. Um, yeah, and so I'm really excited. Everyone does their announcement video. Yours is coming out tomorrow. And sometimes people do like packing videos and, and all this other stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to, we will share what's in our pack. We will share our food and all that kind of stuff. But those will probably be in the daily vlogs because we have, you know, we have about five weeks, less than five weeks before we leave Paris. And we have a lot of behind the scenes stuff to do for the podcast, for the group trips, for the newsletter, for the vlogs. For life. Yeah. 
and we still have to pack up and all that kind of stuff. So you guys, thank you, thank thank you, for you out with so us. much for coming. Thank you for the super chat. Have a wonderful day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. And, uh, and we're we'll, still here. We'll we're still later. vlogging and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.